sounds of maracas, drums, talented voices of Afro-Cuban music, and dance grace the pavement at the Bronx Heritage Center in celebration of rumbas that are boleros. The history of Afro-Cuban music was following after World War II. There were massive migrations to New York City of Puerto Ricans from the island and African Americans from the South. At the very same time, Bronx neighborhoods began to see major shifts. Afro-Cubans made their debut at the Park Plaza Ballroom in East Harlem, fusing big band jazz music together with Afro-Cuban rhythms. Rumbas That Are Boleros was coordinated by co-artistic director of the Bronx Music Heritage Century, Elena Martinez, and she wanted to discuss how music and the streets of the Bronx are combined. The city's opening up after the pandemic. Um, everyone's getting out and, and getting musicians and artists, everyone's getting out, audiences want to go and see things. So in, until we're done, until we have the interior done, we have this little space here, the little amphitheater and the plaza on the other side, where we want to be able to work with artists and, work and get audiences out and bring the music of the Bronx to them. Alongside her was a very important person who was also in attendance. Seven-time Grammy nominee, drummer, percussionist, and music composer, Bobby Sanabria, who had a history of his own. We were celebrating the drum in the Bronx when I was a kid growing up. You heard the sound of Cuban rumba resonating through the canyons of the projects during, throughout the summer, on uh, street corners in front of bodegas, in the tenements, in the parks, uh, of uh, public schools, etc., etc. And all that disappeared with the fires. So we're bringing it back. This is Cuban rumba, drumming, dance, and voice as it is done in Havana and Matanzas and uh, as it was done in the South Bronx when I was growing up. Afro-Cuban music has deep roots in African ritual and rhythm, and it continues to live on through the streets and heart of the Bronx. Reporting for BronxNet, Chanel Thompson.